Right now at four, we're breaking down the first night of the January 6th hearings. The nation watched last night. Joining us to do just that is Meet the Press moderator Chuck Todd. Okay, the, uh, actually, my first question is, do you think the nation watched? Uh, well, what's your definition of the nation watch? Do I think that we probably had a, uh, a, well, I would probably say a, uh, enough people that watch a lower rated state of the union. Yeah. So, um, I assumed it's those that are, that pay attention all the time did. Um, do I think it penetrated that next level of, of, of sort of working parents, uh, who awareness have busy lives about, right. and may have just been coming home with little league. No, I don't. And, and I think that's probably the slight difference between that and say a presidential inauguration or something. Like that. So, so what do you think, um, the purpose is by making this public? Do you think there's a deeper, there's a deeper push behind this? Look, I think it's I, sometimes things are what they are, meaning January 6th was, a, was an insurrection on the Capitol. Mm -hmm. What the heck happened? We need an agreed upon record of what happened, why it happened, can it be prevented, and what are the ways to prevent it? And in this case, this investigation over a year, it, it, what they're laying out here is that, hey, this happened because of Donald Trump. And there were, two con there were two criminal conspiracies here. We'll see if they actually have a criminal referral to the Justice Department. One was his knowingly trying to overturn a results of an election that he knows he lost. They played, made that point last night. And then in turn, that led to a violent insurrection on January 6th when they didn't get the outcome they wanted. And those folks uh, all say they were there because Donald Trump asked them to be there. So it is pretty clear to me that a year of the investigation, we've had Donald Trump investigated four times now by different federal government entities, right? The Mueller report, two impeachments, and now this. This is, has the most receipts of any of the allegations that have been laid out against him. So, look, I think it is for the historical record, but it's also in order to make your case that you've got the receipts, you've got to go public here. You've got to not be afraid to go public. So I think it's about that and it's about, you know, putting it all out there and letting the public decide, hey, is, is Donald Trump at all, do you want him close to power ever again? And that, to me, is ultimately the test of, this, of the success or failure or effectiveness of these hearings. Chuck Todd, thanks so much. And you can watch Meet the Press Sunday at 10 o'clock right here on WCNC Charlotte.